What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for popping in. So today guys, I'm going to show you another VLC media player fix. I have actually had a handful of people reach out to me recently and ask about this. So as you guys are aware, you can stream a YouTube video through VLC or from any other platform. You can stream things through VLC. And what happens if sometimes that video stream is choppy or it is like stuttering. So we're gonna show you how to do that today or how to fix that. But first, I'm going to show you a word from my sponsor. This video is sponsored by Boosteroid, a cloud gaming platform that provides access to hundreds of high-end games. You can now play your favorite titles at 60 FPS, full 1080p on your desktop, laptop, tablet, Android TV, or even on your phone. Check out the links in the description below for more and to get signed up today. Okay guys, so again, we're gonna be looking at settings to help the choppiness or the stuttering when you stream a YouTube video through VLC. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go here to Tools, and then you want to go to Preferences. And that popped up on another screen, I'll bring that over here. Now, the first couple things that you want to check when this comes up, you want to go over here to Input Codecs. Now, right here for this hardware accelerating and decoding, this should be on automatic. Now, if you have an older laptop, this is probably might be on something else, and that will be fine if it's older. Um, but for newer, up-to-date stuff, automatic is just fine for that. So make sure that is on automatic. After you check that, we're gonna go over here to video. And we're going to look at the output here. And this is also on automatic. Now again, if you have an older laptop, you might want to change this to the OpenGL video output for Windows. Uh, but again, that's if you just have an older laptop, maybe seven years old or more. Um, but for us, we're gonna keep this on automatic. So let's just make sure that those settings are correct. Now, the next thing that we're going to check, we're going to go here to interface. And all the way down here at the bottom, you see show settings, and it is set to simple. We're going to go ahead and click all on that. And when you do that, it brings up this other menu. And in this menu, we're going to go to input and codecs here, which is different from the first part on the, on the uh, user interface that we already went to. And once you go to input codecs, you're gonna scroll all the way near the bottom to advanced right here. Now, once you get to advanced, go down a few, you'll see this network caching MS, which is milliseconds. And you can see by default, this is set on 1000, which is actually 1000 milliseconds is only one second. So if you have a high ping rate for your internet service, or you have some other network issues there, um, one, second or 1000 milliseconds really isn't enough time for it to catch up with itself if you have a high ping. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this from 1000 to 10,000 and 10,000 is actually 10 whole seconds. So 10,000 milliseconds is 10 seconds. Uh, so if you have a slower network or a high ping, this will be better adjusted for that. So once you make that change, you're gonna hit save. We're gonna go ahead and close out VLC. And I've got a hotkey over here on a stream deck. I'm just gonna reopen that. So you will have to, once you make those changes, save them, log out of VLC, log back into VLC, and you should be good to go. So guys, if this helped you out at all, click that like button, consider subscribing for future content. Thanks guys.